and they're not the only ones. <laughs> At this pub in the New Forest, there are more people set on having a good old giggle. Three classes like this originally started in the mid-90s with just five people in a park in India and has been growing ever since. Now it's a worldwide craze with more than 6,000 laughter clubs in over 60 countries. <laughs> and on my left here is... Um, Sexy Sheila. Sheila. <laughs> Sheila started coming to laughter yoga to help her deal with the loss of her husband. I can't explain how I felt, but it was dreadful. But I thought, you know, he wouldn't want me to be like this. Because he was so full of fun and nonsense. And he, I could hear him saying to me, well, for God's sake, woman, get to your backside and do something. <laughs> but it's important. You can't go through life being miserable, can you? Sheila's motto is an inspirational one, and she would like more people to start laughing. What we need to do is just move around, shaking hands, but while laughing and having eye contact. <laughs> Laughter is the best drug in the world. You know, it really gets you going. It really makes you feel alive. Today is Brett's first time at Laughter Club, and it's made quite an impression on him. About ten years ago, I was locked away in prison. I was uh, addicted to crack. So I've tried every drug under the sun. But when you start to laugh, it's like a natural drug. It's a pure drug. And now I pass it on, so it becomes contagious. When you help other people laugh, it kind of ripples out into the world, which is definitely the best drug I've ever tried. It's free and it's pure and it's healthy. At the beginning, when they started saying, run around and do this, you feel a little bit awkward, I suppose, if I'm honest. Probably the ego stuff gets in the way. But then you start to look at other people laugh and you just can't stop it. You can't help yourself but laugh. And it felt incredible. It felt really clean and it felt really natural. <laughs> so is there any particular laughter exercise that anybody would like to do? Laughter instructor Leslie Lyle is a high-flying air hostess, and when she's not pointing out your nearest exit, she's helping to change people's lives. Clara, can you show us how it goes? When we're happy, we laugh, and when we laugh, we become happy, and, and that's really what's happening here. You can come here and feel miserable, or not at all like laughing. But it's a physical experience, and, and the physiological response actually makes those chemicals in your brain that make you feel happy. So that's something we can all do, and, and lots of us often need a good laugh, you know, for lots of reasons. I'd love to take laughter into hospitals and get people to laugh rather than, you know, because everyone in hospital is distressed or, you know, suffering in some way, and to be able to bring a little light laughter would be, I think, a wonderful thing to do. Well, my name's Tony. Um, I'm here because my wife asked me to come. And I thought, I can go to one, say I've been, don't like it, don't come again. But 12 months later, I'm still here. Laughter is certainly the best medicine. And I think if more people laughed in the world, it'd be a much happier place. If you laugh, others will laugh with you. But people don't want, all want to come to what they call a, this is like a session, isn't it? Which is, um, you know, it's a shame they don't, but there we are. But the British, I think, are like that. We're very um, reserved, aren't we? We don't like to just let go. Um, and I think it's, uh, it's good to let go. <laughs> I'm laughing, and I, I don't know if I'm laughing with them or at them, or maybe this really is working. <laughs> I don't know what's funny. I can't breathe. It's thought that the average four-year-old laughs 300 times a day, 
whilst a 40-year-old only four times. I'm not saying this is the only way to be happy, this is the only way to be healthy, but I am saying it's a really quick way to be both of those things and it's really enjoyable. Just to watch other people in that joy and that kind of excitement, it just it sets you off and I can feel it now, I just want to start laughing. Do you think you'll come back? 100%, I've already been thinking about it since I've been sitting there for, oh, when's my next fix? <laughs> Since this session, Brett's completed a laughter leadership course and plans to take laughter yoga into prisons.